Welcome to the first of nine videos in our course Pro Video Editing with an iPad or iPhone using LumaFusion. In this course, we'll cover creating a project, importing and using media, working in the timeline, the essential tools, the clip editor, we'll learn about LumaFusion's color and effects, everything audio, how to make titles and graphics, and how to export and render. In this, the first video of the course, you'll learn how to create a project and add metadata for quick access to your media in LumaFusion. We'll end with demonstrations on how to duplicate, archive, and restore projects and export to use in Apple's Final Cut Pro. Everybody's got to start somewhere, and that's why we've made a list, a shopping list of the nine essential things that every beginner filmmaker needs. It's really easy to get. All you have to do is click on the link in the card there or a link in the description, and you can get it today. So here we are on the iOS homepage on our fifth gen iPad Pro 12.9 inch. Now, no matter what you're making, it can be a beautiful art piece, it could be a commercial, it could be an edit for a wedding, it could be the next indie drama to get picked up, but you gotta start in the same place and that's opening up your program and creating a new project. So what we're gonna do here first off is open up LumaFusion and I'm going to tap here and here it opens up our really blank editor. And they make it real easy though. We just got to press plus to create your first project. So we're going to come here in the bottom left corner and you will see, I will tap here on plus. Cool thing here, you get to name your project right off the bat, which is keeping you organized. We're going to talk more about that, but it allows you to either allow your media to choose the frame rate aspect ratio or color space, but you can always change that later, even if you choose the wrong one or you will change what you wanna do in the future. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just look through our options here. We can look here and see that we can go up all the way to 240 frames per second if we're doing some maybe slow-mo stuff. And then we're gonna look at aspect ratio. And this is really cool because what it allows you to do is lots of different aspect ratios because these days you really don't know where your final project's gonna end up or what project you're gonna be doing next. And that might be something you're doing for a social media advertisement, or maybe you're doing it for promotion of an upcoming event, or maybe it's some memory of a wedding that you edited. Doesn't really matter what you're using it for, but you have all these different uh, options for choosing what aspect ratio you wanna go with, all the way down here to anamorphic, which is pretty cool. All right, so we're gonna close that. And lastly, we're gonna pick up the color space and that's probably gonna be best based on the first video you add, but you know, your standards rec 709. So let's close that. And then I'm going to name our project. And what am I gonna call this? Well, of course, my master piece, right? Because everything you're doing is gonna be better than the last time you created. So this is gonna be your next masterpiece, right? So we're gonna call it that and we're gonna go for it. So here we are in our project. Now it's pretty empty right now, but we're gonna wanna stay organized because really quickly, whenever you're doing any kind of editing, you're gonna have lots and lots of files. They're not gonna be named what you think they are, and you're gonna need to keep them in order. I mean, it's just bare necessities here. This is just self-preservation, people. With that in mind, one of the coolest things about LumaFusion as it pertains to staying organized, are the ability to add notes and add metadata. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about adding notes for this is really easy to do. All you gotta do is go over to the little eye that's right here in the preview window, right in the middle of the screen about, and I'm gonna tap on that. And it's gonna bring up, of course, the information to our timeline. And it tells us all of our information we need to know, which we just created, right? So we have all of that information that's right here. Now, the cooler thing is that you can add right here, a note. And so I can say, this is a great edit needs, let's say sound effects. Now I added those notes there and now they're right there so I can stay organized because you're gonna have lots and lots of media to manage. And this is just one of those things that is gonna save you lots and lots of time. More than just notes, you can add color tags to your media for quicker search and organization. And these color tags can be used for any reason just to have you sort and group together certain assets to stay more organized. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Storyblocks because it's built into LumaFusion and we have access to lots and lots and lots of images in video clips, just you name it. So first thing is we're just gonna grab this 
uh, hummingbird shot. Now I'm going to bring this down and you can see it's got story blocks written on it. We can watch it play back for us. But what I can do is come over here right to this button on the far left and tap on the button. And you can see I have a bunch of colors to choose from. So I'm uh, going to be using this shot for a wildlife video that I'm going to be editing. And uh, well, I want to label all of the images of animals with the color yellow. So I'm going to do that. And I clip and I make it yellow. But Whenever I have scenery, I am wanting to label it with blue. So I'm going to come over here to this shot here and it's going to load in and we can watch it if we'd like. And that's beautiful, right? Well, that's also going to be used. It's a nature documentary that I'm making and uh, this is a location. So I'm going to use blue and this is the blue there. Both files now have their label on them and that will follow them along throughout your project. But at a certain time, you might want to duplicate a project. Maybe you're doing two different edits. Maybe it's for some other purpose or for whatever reason you want to duplicate your project. It's really easy to do. All you got to do is go over to the bottom left corner right here where there's this page with a plus on it and tap on the button and you can see your project manager tab. And all you got to do is come over to the bottom corner here as well and plus with the little paper behind it. And we tap on that. It just duplicated the project. Now, say you're all done with your project and you're wanting to archive it for access later, but maybe just to save for future needs. All you got to do is go to the little square with the arrow up and we tap that and you choose LumaFusion project. Then from there, you're going to choose where you want to do it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do iOS share and airdrop, and it's going to ask you different questions here. Do you want full original media or as a larger file, or do you want to make them smaller and trimmed? So then the full project is going to be smaller for archiving. We're going to leave this as is. You tap on it and choose the LumaFusion project. Same looking arrow here in this menu. And it's going to ask me what, of course, you want to name it. We're going to say my masterpiece and it exports it for us. Now we're going to choose to save to files and we're going to go here with LumaFusion and then down to user media and we're going to save it there. And of course, I just did this because I've been doing multiple takes. I'm going to replace it. So now the opposite of archiving is going to be restoring. So we're going to go over to the menu that looks very similar to the one for archiving a project, but it's on the far left and it's going to be the little square with the arrow going to the middle of it. And we're going to tap here and it's going to ask me where I want to import these project from. I'm going to choose iOS and we're going to say right here, my masterpiece package. And there it is restored from its archived state. Lastly, let's go over how you will export it and bring it into Final Cut Pro. This is real easy. It's not hard to do. But if you're going to do it, you're going to have to get an upgrade. So if we go down to that same menu that we use to archive our project and we're going to tap here and instead we're going to choose XML project package. And if we add that little green plus there, it'll bring up this Final Cut Pro XML export and you can sign up to use that so that you can complete your edit or do whatever you're going to be doing in Final Cut Pro if you have a need for it. In the next video, you'll learn about importing and using media. We'll start with how to search, sort, add notes, or color tags to your media. We'll then move on to the different ways to import media. We'll then go over how to access media directly from an external drive or something like Frame.io. We'll cover adding links to folders and how to use story blocks from within LumaFusion. And then we'll end with how to create detailed metadata. Take this information and challenge yourself to use it today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to get your shopping list of the nine essential things every filmmaker needs, link in the card or in the description.